Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Saturday. This is Dash Hole on behalf of the Dash League Network. We've got a matchup today of ATX and WOLF. Why did I spell them out? And Trax versus Wolf. Cycle se uh, Season 7, Cycle 5. Maps are predetermined as you see on the screen. Launch pad, Volcano if we need to. We'll go to a tiebreaker on Stadium and play Control Point. This is an international bout, so we're going to have a server swap, and if a tiebreaker is needed, we will do the double control point tiebreaker. Yes, folks, you heard it right. 20 minutes of non-stop exercise. Yes, that's why control point is my least favorite map. I'd rather just sit down on the microphone for 20 minutes then jump around and shoot robots uh, that's a lie I love shooting robots versus sitting down uh, let's go take a look inside the lobby what's going on I see robots on the lineup but I should not they gotta fix that because it's the right thing to do. We don't have a map showing just yet, but they should load up launch pad. Pay load. Pay a a load. Well, so far we've got a 4v4, but league rules require 5v5 or forfeit. We don't want a forfeit, but we don't want an uneven match. Nobody wants neither of those, you hear? Okay, let's kick this pole off a little too early. But I want your opinion. Who's going to win payload? Will it be ATX or will it be Wolf? Vote now. Of course, your opinion may change once Bot Arthur and Bot Kenny are replaced with the real players. The real. For real. Okay. Show off my new trick. I've taught myself to include that their web page. Basically the team page. So. We see Phoenix, Hugo, Luis, and David have joined the lobby. And now I can browse through their roster with you and see who might show up for that fifth slot. Could it be Toshiro? Uh, spoiler alert, probably not. How about Gold Baby Jesus? I mean, it could be <laughs> tomorrow on Easter. <laughs> oh gosh, sorry. <laughs> okay, it, it's Alex. Oh, uh, I... I'm sorry. I do it for the laughs. Um, you know why they don't want Jesus on your team? Because he has a three-day respawn. Okay. Gold Baby Jesus not joining up today. Um, Diablo's on the team. Um, David's already here. Valdo is on the team. 
Um, Luis is already here. Escanor is on the team. Alberto and um, he was already here and Adam. And okay, let's see what Wolf has on their lineup. Uh, Romeo, aka Lamborghini, is captain and they showed up. That's great. Ooh, what is that red ping? They better go see a doctor about that. Uh, Berkey. Is he on Wolf? Oh, yeah, right there. Okay, um, enough about that. Let's go to the lobby and tell them that I'm ready to go. Because... Oh, haha, <laughs> they're not ready. Sorry, Wolf, I cut your roster out pretty quick and I wasn't able to go through the, the list like I did with the other team. Um, they pretended like they were ready to go. Okay, so back to the lineup. Uh, we've got Noble, Romeo, The Ghost, Berkey, and Venko. And, yeah. Um, other players include Boring, Eminem, Juvi, Ultra Funky. So, um, cool. Yeah, that's all. Okay, we do have Launchpad loaded up. So when they are ready, um, I'm ready. I do see they have the League Payload Butator. Uh, just a reminder, that lets the second team attempt 100%, regardless of the first team's success or failure. Uh, no standardized height, because Triangle Factory decided to implement a an update a week or two ago and force standardized height, but they know the league doesn't always want what the developers want, so they gifted us with the no standardized height mutator. Uh, team chat only. It's optional in each person's menu, but when you put it in a mutator, you force it. So, you can be sneaky in the enemy's base with your voice, but they'll still hear you sprint and dash and shoot. Uh, player count set to 1, so no bots appear when a human drops from the game. That's good, and difficulty doesn't matter because that's only for the bots, and there's no bots. No ifs, ands, or bots. All right, thank you for interacting with me in the poll, filling out your votes. Looks like 100% of you figure Wolf will win. I'll go ahead and remove that poll. Romeo is asking for the thumbs up. Luis is asking for the thumbs up. Romeo has control of the lobby. Hello, Vinco. All right, Romeo's got the controller in his hand. Here we go, Wolf versus ATX. This is Dash League Season 7, Cycle 5. And give me a moment. I'm going to press a record button on my to start. backup computer. And let's throw the drone onto the cart and the POV to random player number one, who happens to be Romeo. Looks like he's going to begin with double pistols. Match starts in three, two, one, go. And they're off. ATX double, nope, single stacking the cart. First They're weary eight. of any heavies that may clear the cart, so they only want to place one on and not risk too many team members getting wiped out. Uh, looks like ATX was trying to clear house. Looking at the mini map they have, that's a good start for this map of payload on launch pad. Clearing out the house to keep the enemy away from that cart. Uh, speaking of cart, we had shocks on it, but they're taking it out. In the meantime, we'll enjoy Alex's POV, currently on a 4K kill streak. 
chasing a kill. Able to get them with a bounce shot, I believe. Doing his part to run the cart. A little shaky on my screen. Hope everything's okay on your side, viewers. Double checking ping. All ATX members are green. Whereas Wolf has two reds, the Ghost and Romeo. And everyone else is yellow. Back to POV. Hugo Suave with shocks. Pre-firing the shield room. Not a bad strategy. Able to get that splash damage. Four minutes, 25 seconds. The cart is starting its descent. I think that's the only downward slope on this map. Come to think of it, Canyon does not have any downward slopes. And I don't think Abyss does either. So this is the only downward hill on any of the payload maps. Yes, random facts, courtesy of Dash Hole. Um, if I'm wrong, remind me there in that comment section and I'll read about it in a few minutes. Uh, Venko, currently on a 3k kill streak. Got those bubble gum, bubble gum pistol skins. Waiting patiently for that death. Health to respawn. Picks up kill number four. Turns his back to the enemy and pays the price as Hugo Suave is able to shock him. Forgive me if I get the genders wrong. These names look um, male to me. But I don't know. Venko could be something different. Alex could be something different. Alright, Noble's got a shield and a rocket and a kill. That's number four on their current streak. Back to the enemy. And a shield towards the enemy who actually takes them out. That was interesting. We may be experiencing a ping advantage, however. Uh, remember, Blue Team is on their home server uh, this time around and... Um, red team is far away. Okay, minute 40 and the cart is right there. Just a couple cart lengths away from making that checkpoint. Wolf is going to do what they can to keep that cart from moving. They need to do more though. That cart is moving, and they made it with just over a minute and 20 seconds remaining on the clock. Romeo, what happened to you? Let's watch you roll out from second red spawn, a.k.a. long drive to work. Was not able to pick up a dash on their way. All that time just to be taken out by David HDZ1. He's got pistol SMG, not enough to take out the ghost. Ghost comes around behind cart, gets one, gets two. That is number three so far. That's four. Four K kill streak for the ghost, taken out by. Um, didn't catch it. I'm too slow. Berkey rocket SMG combo, interesting choice. He's making it work. Well, for a moment. 
Okay, we've got a decent hold by Wolf on ATX just past the checkpoint. This is this is probably the longest I've seen a cart stick around that little area where uh, old red spawn used to be. So let me go ahead and um, oh, no, too late for me to put the quality hold graphic up. Benko double SMG uh, shock pistols um, got a little carried away. Um, a little too late for this, but that's what happened. That's why we're watching him roll out from spawn. Okay, let's try this again, Venko. This time be careful with that heavy weapon. And remember, you've got another hand, so if you're able to, shoot with the left hand as well as the right. Or not. Berkey, what happened there? You swapped with um, Hugo? Watching another rollout from Red Second Spawn. At this point, I'd like to call out Quality Hold by Wolf on ATX. That cart is still sitting there halfway up the hill. And right as I say it, we've got cart movement and double stack. Got to make up for some lost time. Phoenix with the porcelain shotgun skin looking nice matching up with that gold skin SMG ATX securing the triangle room check on my chat hey Ayla says hey chat King Firebone said nice dashing from ghost but that was probably minutes ago, and I'm a little late. Okay, Wolf has ATX payload under control at the moment. Berkey with rockets pre-firing into the cart, as well as shield room. Maybe not necessarily pre-firing, just making the hits. There we go, Phoenix, using both weapons. SMG in one hand, pistol in the other. Tell you what, these uh, gun skins are so fun to look at. Let's take a closer look if we can. Nice, got the porcelain shotgun. Me likey. All right, Phoenix riding cart, went back for health. Lost that 1v2, but what you gonna do, you know, when they're coming for you? Sorry. Had to have been said. Oh, another red rollout from second spawn. In the meantime, looks like we are missing a kill streak by the ghost, which was taken out by. That was Luis, I believe. And yet another trade where we watch the red roll out from second spawn. I didn't know any better. I think the software was messed up and I was focusing on one team. Uh, currently red. Berkey grabs try health after getting that dash. Watching some flip booking action, not necessarily flip booking, just a little bit of slow motion from our point of view. Dang it, Venko, double SMG or single? Able to get two kills and clear the cart. Cart is stuck. We've got two minutes remaining. We are at 84%. Venko steals the try dash, gets that Luis character. Got stuck on the cart. Fortunately, it did not get taken out by the enemy. You know, when your back's to the enemy, it's liable to happen. But not this time, he got lucky. Continuing his kill streak to nine. Benko, where is my button? We'll just go ahead and say that he's on a rampage. And. Hope that that's not a caster's curse. Ooh, 
Ooh, this is a long match. I wonder how much time we have left. One minute remaining. Thank you, announcer. Venko, number 11. Will they ever finish their kill streak? Number 12. Well done. Goes way back there for some health. Leaves the other two health pickups for their teammates. Number 13. I can't count that high. You need to stop. Good job, Venko. Work those SMGs like they were put there to use. Uh-oh. David put an end to that. I couldn't count any higher than 13 anyway. Check out the kills. All right, we got 10 seconds for ATX to make their final push. Five, four, three, two, one. Time to red team wins. No overtime for ATX. They made it to 86.13% midway through this match. Here are some scores for you to glance over. Lots of kills for everybody. Lots of points for everybody. And... Lots of excitement for the viewers. You are the real winners. Ooh, at this time, I can remind you to like, comment, subscribe. I see the comments are there, but the likes were at two likes for 13 viewers. That's a terrible KD. Let's work on that one. You go double shocks. First elimination. They look like they froze up just a little bit. I'm going to watch them in spawn. No, I'm not. We're going to keep the action going. The cart appears to be double stacked. Maybe my eyes need to be fixed. Nope, that's just one Berkey on cart. The lone wolf. Taken out from behind by David. Then go waiting for their second shock pistol. Doing some pre-firing on that shield room opening. I don't know if it's an entrance or an exit. We'll just call it an opening. We've got five minutes left on the clock and the cart is turning to make its descent down the only payload hill in the game. The only, only payload descent. That's what I'm trying to get at. I wonder why that is that they decided that we're only going to have one downward hill in all of the payload maps. Sure does make it a lot easier for those rockets to Curl around and who was that? Who was the Rocketeer? Obviously it was ATX, but which of the players? Well, Hugo's got a rocket right now. They also have critical damage. Grabbing that shield. Tags the cart rider, but pays the price. Things are Things are freezing up on my screen. It might be a, a connection for me. Ah, wolf carts cruising. We've got over three and a half minutes left just past the SMG bridge. ATX may need to step up their game just a little bit, especially on their home server. Romeo had a 6K kill streak before that was taken to an end by David. Alright, looks like ATX... Nope. I just checked the mini-map and there's a lot of blue, blue dots coming to the cart. There we go. We've got a little bit of cart movement. The Rocketeer was taken out. Ghost pushing forward. Getting a few kills. we got a single double stack cart. We've got rockets up. We should have that 
checkpoint. One more tap, and that should be it. All right, with over two and a half minutes remaining, Wolf is ahead of ATX's uh, time for Launchpad. All right, things freezing up for Dash Hole Studios in Texas. I got that 20 millisecond ping. I don't know what the deal is. All right, Wolf, you've got eight minutes remaining on the clock to attempt 100%, but your first, oh, well, your next goal is to make it to 86. I think that was 86.13%. Cart left empty. There we go. No, nobody wants that dash pickup. They probably left it for the, for the person assigned to disrupt. We got Venko on SMGs droning the cart, protecting it. Does a decent job. Takes out two or three. Good job, Venko. Oh no, Noble, he tried to hop on the cart. Must have sticky railed his way past it. Got taken out by Luis's double gold plated shotguns. Noble surprises Alex. Steals that tri dash. Leads the enemy back into the triangle room. David with double SMGs. Barely gets that kill on Romeo. He kept evading the SMG bullets. Okay, we've got one on cart. One droning. Where's Venko's SMGs? Maybe ATX keeps taking the SMG pickup. Wolf keeping that cart moving. I would use the free ride animation, but this costs a little bit more to push this cart. It's not quite free. Wolf just making great time. Six minutes remaining to get that last five percentage points. What will ATX do to prevent them from gaining that payload goal that's right in front of the cart. Yeah, that one. Coming out through shotgun and from alley. Looks like they're taking a moment to breathe. Checking the mini-map. We've got blue dots spaced around. Maybe they are grouping up. Do we have all of our ATX players? Yes. Luis taking it calmly in the shotgun room. We're going to find some more action. Well, there it is, right behind you. Yes, you better move. They know you're there. Problem is, you don't know the cart's moving. Shield on cart. Working wonders. Good job, Venko. And with that, they've got the map. And they still have over four and a half minutes remaining to attempt 100%. Let's see how far Wolf can take it. Got Phoenix with his double gold SMGs, but Romeo took him out. Romeo is pushing forward in bunker, doing a little disruption while the cart is just sitting there. We need a little bit more coordination by Wolf to get any more movement. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure we will see it.
Dang it, David's probably annoyed at these bullets not hitting. Alright, Romeo will letting his dash recharge. Gets in a 1v1 with Phoenix. Waits for that health pickup. Now he can go disrupt a little. Taps the cart. Gets popped in the head. Venko on cart. Almost have that windscreen, the windshield, the shield on the cart facing the enemy spawn. So that'll make things a lot smoother for them to finish up this 100%. In the meantime, they need to make it to the cart. Checking the mini-map, we've got a sneaky sneaky through the alley. And they are waiting. We might see them in the payload screen. He's just hanging out. Yep, almost as fun watching the mini-map as it, as it is the big screen. Almost, but not quite. Let's, let's see what he does this time in the big screen. He waits patiently. Does not give away his position. Tries to sneak up into the bunker, but misses that last dash it's like tripping on his way over you know if there was such a thing as tripping in this game that would be missing a dash ATX doing a pretty decent job of holding that cart at its point where's my cursor so yeah give them that quality hold animation We've got 90 seconds remaining. We've got 10 percentages remaining. Noble pushing it. Looks like double stack with Venko. Noble up in bunker, protecting that cart, getting those picks. ATX frantically jumping onto cart, preventing it from moving because as we all know, if there's a red player on the cart, the cart will not move, regardless how many blue players are there. Of course, if there's no blue players, the cart won't move regardless. ATX just trying everything they can to keep that cart from making 100%. They've already lost the map, but the bonus points that Wolf can obtain by getting 100% uh, might be significant. So ATX has got 20 seconds left to keep that from happening. Ten. Okay, I'm going to expect some heavies seven, to come through garage. Six, five, Let's take a watch. Four, three, Let's see what two, happens. One, There's a heavy. Overtime. We've got overtime. All right, 97.42%. Let's take a look at those scores. Um, scores. All right, highest kills overall goes to Noble with 90 kills, 64 deaths. That earns them the highest score as well with 9640. Next highest score goes to David with 8554. He had 62 kills, 74 deaths. Alex had 71 kills, 72 deaths. That's a lot of interactions, 143 of them. Um, not quite as many as Noble's 154, but still... Lots of interactions, lots of kills, lots of scores, and the players are dropping so they could fly across the water to the other server. Once again, this is a international um, match. Let's throw up that waiting screen while we type in the secret password. The next problem is who's lobby? Um, could it be, I don't know, mm. 
Ooh, I get I got it. I don't know if you hear the same music that I hear. Um, Dash League Nation. It's a busy day today. We have this ATX Wolf match going on right now. And then I think there was, um, let me look it up so I don't lie to you. Sky versus Phoenix going on. And then right after this, we're going to have L Control versus Life. And then right after they play, Supernova versus Envy. What a busy day of back-to-back -back exciting Dash League matches. I wonder if they're waiting for me. We've got no bots. We've got the map. We don't have the no standardized height. I wonder if they care. So I'm going to run the camera up there and hopefully get their attention. Who's in control here? Romeo is in control. Okay, well, while I stare at the screen, let me get your opinion again. This is Volcano, Volcano. All right, let's get your votes. Who's going to win, Volcano, ATX, or Wolf? Bom, bom, bom. ATX is stretching their limbs. Wolf is almost ready. going to what am I going to do try to do some sneaky sneak They may be standardized height. Oh, they're, they're not starting yet. Okay, back to my... They're asking for the thumbs up and I'm still trying to suggest they have missed a mutator. All right, well, we're gonna play standardized height. Here we go. We're going to Volcano. We're going to watch a POV. Match starts 
And let's watch button number B. Who's who? ATX is blue. Encountered. Blue takes C. Who, who had a countdown? Was that ATX? Kill the pole. We've got a countdown by Wolf. We've got three alive. David trying to get that button. Gets a kill and save. Nice job, David. It looks like everybody agrees that Wolf will also win Volcano. Let's watch and find out. Red team score Wolf with another countdown for ATX alive. Red team scores. Two counted. alive. Who's it gonna be? Blue takes B. Blue team scores. ATX with encounter. a countdown. Vinco waiting for Red their dash pickup. Managed to get it. Takes their own button back. Clears the threat. Blue takes B. Hoping to get that second dash. Let's either that or wait for his to regenerate. Got Red the dash and going to sit here and protect the back door. Intruder alert takes out Luis. Blue takes B. Pushes Red up to B, starts the countdown. Three, We've got two, two one. ATX players, they were both sitting at their um, spawn dash, unable to make it to any of the buttons, and loses that point. Wolf 1, ATX 0, we still have 22 minutes. Red takes A. First elimination. Red takes C. Blue takes C. Red takes C. Red takes B is a. wide open. Red and there's a countdown with four alive. Three, two, one. Red team wins this round. A quick second point by Wolf. Two to zero over ATX and Volcano. We still have 21 minutes and some change. Lots of Match change. Starts in three, two, one. Match point. All right. Fight over the Red spawn dash. Leaves David empty-handed. Countdown by Wolf. With Red three alive, A. ATX is able to counter. Missing a good kill streak or two going on by Venko and somebody else. Red team One alive. Three, two. One. And he's Red out team. in um, no man's land. And with that, a 3-0, and o, going to earn Wolf quite a bit of bonus points on that win. All right, highest kills overall goes to Romeo with 14 kills, 7 deaths. Gives him the highest score as well, 28-82. Also on Wolf, uh, 25, 58 points goes to the Ghost with only 5 kills. They must have pushed a bunch of buttons. ATX dropping like flies. I'm not able to read their scores in time, but Alex did get 10 kills, 10 deaths with 2,384 points. Um, this has been Dash Hole on behalf of the Dash League Network. Thanks for joining me watching this stream. Um, hope it was entertaining. Like, subscribe. Maybe that ring bell notification. This is Dash League Network, not the Dash Hole YouTube. So like it without remorse. All right. Um, catch me next time in like 10 minutes or 15. And we'll, we'll catch you next time.